hello friend in this video we will discuss regarding the gears okay so the gears seems like a very small part but it plays a very big role in so many machines and the devices okay so in this video we will discuss the different type of gears so if you are new here subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design adda let discuss with the spur gear okay so the spur gear are the most common type of the gear used in the industry okay so these gears are straight uh, uh, teeth and uh, the teeth are parallel to the axis of the uh, gear okay and uh, it is used in the uh, cars bikes and in the home appliances equipments okay and uh, they are great for the speed control okay next gear is a helical gear okay so like a spur gear uh, the helical gears have the angled teeth okay in the uh, spur gear there are the straight teeth and so in the helical there are the angled teeth okay which makes them run more smoothly and quietly okay uh, so here the noise is very less okay so you will find these gears in many industrial applications like in the machine and manufacturing equipments and the heavy machineries okay so they handle the high load uh, with the low vibrations and the noise the next type of gear is a double helical gear okay generally this type of gear we call it as a herring bone gear okay so here the two helical gear sections uh, are uh, facing each other okay so here you can see in the picture okay so the double helical gears are excellent for the reducing the vibrations and are used in the high precision applications such as in the aerospace the next gear is a bevel gear okay so the bevel gear comes in the conical shaped teeth and uh, having the two types like a uh, straight bevel gear and the spiral bevel gear okay so generally the bevel gears are used uh, where we want to transfer the power or transfer the motion uh, at an angle okay at that time we use the bevel gear okay so like you can see uh, the application in the differential vehicle differential the next gear is a worm gear okay so the worm gear have the unique setup with a screw like a gear and the wheel gear okay so you will find this type of gear where we we where we want the uh, gear ratio uh, means where we want to reduce the gear ratio high reduction ratio uh, where we need at that time we use the worm gear okay like in the elevator and the conveyor system okay so this worm gear are essential for precise control next gear is a planetary gear okay so these gears uh, work like our solar system like uh, the centrally you can see the sun gear is there around that the planet planet gears are there and the outer is the ring gear okay so like uh, likewise this the this one is the arrangement of the planetary gear so this planetary gears uh, we use in the automatic transmissions where uh, we are placing the number of gears in the compact size or the in the compact space the next gear is a rack and pinion gear okay so this gear consists of the uh, rack which we which is nothing but the straight bar having the straight teeth and the pinion which is nothing but the circular gear okay so the rack and pinions are generally used in the steering system okay where we are uh, means uh, turning rotation motion into the linear motion so here the rotational motion we are converting into the linear motions okay so that we can easily navigate the car okay next gear type is hypoid gear okay so the hypoid gears are a special type of bevel gear that has its uh, pinion offset from the gear axis okay so you will find this type of uh, hypoid gears in the axle of the vehicle okay so this hypoid gears provide the better space efficiency and the torque transmission next gear type is a crown gear okay so the crown gears are like a bevel gear 
with the right angle setup and having the uh, cylindrical teeth okay so they are used in the uh, mechanical applications where the direction of the rotation need to change at an right angle okay so where we want to transmit the power at an 90 degree so at that time we use the crown gears so the next type of gear is a internal gear so here the internal teeth are there so where we are uh, meshing with the external gear okay so this type of gear internal gears are used in the planetary gear system and also you can see the internal gears in the bicycle hub the next type of gear is the cycloidal gear okay so the cycloidal gears are uh, used lobe gear for high shock load resistors okay so here we are using the lobed gear okay and they are uh, used in the robotics and uh, place where the precision and the smooth operation is required okay the next type of gear is the epicyclic gear generally we call it as a sun and planet gear okay so the epicyclic gear have the center sun gear and the planet gear and the ring gear and allowing the complex motion okay so you will find this type of the gears uh, from from the automatic transmission to the planetary gear boxes in the machinery next type of gear is the spindle gear okay so the spindle gears have the specially designed teeth for the application that required the minimum backlash okay so uh, they are used in the high precision equipments like uh, uh, optical instruments and the telescope next type of gear is the magnetic gear okay so the magnetic gear use the magnet instead of the physical teeth for uh, contactless torque transmission okay so the application in a clean environment such as wind turbine and the magnetic uh, resonance imaging okay mri machine okay so uh, mri machines uses the magnetic gears okay next type of gear we can see is the differential gear okay so the differential gear allows the wheel on the same axle to rotate at the different speed okay so at the same axle but we are getting the different speed okay so uh, in the car differential you can see the differential gear okay so ensuring your wheel can turn at a various speed while turning so during the turning so we can manage the speed like uh, where we need the high speed and on other end we are allowing the low speed that uh, that uh, uh, we, we can achieve with the help of the differential gear gears are the truly unsung hero in the mechanical machineries okay so thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design adda thank you for watching see you in the next video